Welcome back to this week's edition of Tuesday Tiger Talk. Back where we live, I think we counted up earlier today, we spent about 108 hours during the football season in the indoor facility covering interviews on Monday and Tuesday. This week's edition of Tuesday Tiger Talk had Dabo as usual, had a couple of defensive linemen, and we'll break down some of the things we heard there. Gavin, I'm going to start with you. Um, Dabo had a kind of a cool story. He was asked about all his big 10-year anniversary and what he do on Saturday, and I don't think anybody expected the answer we got. Yeah, <laughs> Dabo said he took some time to reflect this past week about uh, – his 10-year anniversary at Clemson, and uh, he, he did some interviews, it sounded like, with some people who wanted to do some stories on it and reminisce about that, and he said that was cool. But However, that was not the highlight of his week last week. He said on on, the, on his 10th-year anniversary exactly, he uh, was in Milan, Ohio, I think is what he said, um, and uh, he went to a funeral, but then after that, Apparently, he rode a, a crazy, awesome roller coaster, he said. Uh, <laughs> he said it was cold. Yeah, he said it was cold. He said it was a roller coaster where it just shoots off straight like this, and then it, it's going really, really fast, and all of a sudden it shoots straight up, then then all of a sudden it shoots straight back down, and Dabo was like, man, I can't believe I survived that thing. He was talking with one of the guys on the front row who – to say who thought he knew what kind of roller coaster it was he's like you know that roller coaster yeah i, I mean he was like have you ever ridden it and and that and Davo's and the guy was like no and Davo was like well i rode that thing and i've survived it and it, <laughs> that was just going on and on about that having a conversation only Davo would 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 talk about his roller coaster ride on a press conference when he was asked about his 10-year anniversary that's not where anybody expected him to go with that but that was funny nonetheless so he he, uh, I guess, if you're in Milan, Ohio, go check out that roller coaster, Dabo. If you're if you're a fan of it, because it sounded like it was a, quite a thrill for him. I'm interested to talk to one of his kids who also went with him and see how Dabo reacted on that that ride. All right, Will, what'd you hear today? Well, it sounds like Dabo had a, a whole lot more fun this year on his anniversary than on his ninth anniversary, because that's when they played Syracuse and they lost at the at the Carrier Dome. So this got a negative guy. That, that was a whole lot better time for Dabo. It sounds like this year. Um, and, and, and congratulations to Dabo, obviously, for 10 years. And uh, we've obviously been a part of the whole the whole ride with uh, from where he began to, you know, uh, winning a national championship and the way he's built this Clemson program. It's it's amazing when you think about it. That's been 10 years. Um, but as far as you know, I think today was. As it has been every time these two teams get together, it's all about, you know, the antics that happened during the course of this game between Clemson and NC State. Uh, last year, obviously, laptop gate, and Dabo talked about that, how, you know, he, he still says, I don't really know still that what all happened with that thing. Um, and then, he, you know, he talked about uh, the towels with, uh, with, uh, with Chubb, Bradley Chubb, stealing the towels off Kelly Bryant. And Dabo was asking, he still doesn't know where those towels went because he never got them back. He says, Doran sent him some towels from NC State, but they were Adidas towels. Clemson, obviously, is a Nike school, so, you know, it's not really anything they can use those towels for, as Dabo said. Um, and so, it, you know, he just kind of played off of the whole thing. But the main part of it was the competitiveness of this rivalry. Clemson has won six straight, and you would think that it's not 14 out of 15. Yeah, something like that. And you would think, you would think that Clemson would uh, – you know, would dominate. You would consider them dominating this rivalry, and from a score standpoint and result standpoint, they have. There's no doubt about that. However, when you look at the way the games are played, they've been very competitive since Dave Dorn's been here, with the exception of one year. And and Dabo talked about how that's the toughness of the two teams, and how both teams just play hard and they want to win this game. It is a rivalry game. It's the textile bowl, as it's known. Um, and uh, a lot of people kind of forget about that, but there is some bad blood between the two schools, and. It's, it's fun, and Dabo basically was saying that today. That's what makes the game interesting. Also heard from uh, Dexter Lawrence, who's from basically the NC State area, Wake Forest. is actually not near Wake Forest University. It's actually in Raleigh, for those that don't know. Uh, we actually went and saw him play. Hale and I did a couple years ago when Clemson was recruiting him the, the weekend. Clemson played up at NC State. We knew he was going to be big time then. Obviously, he's proven to be big time. Uh, Dexter talked about how he enjoyed the week off, but just like Dabo, he wanted to be playing on Saturday instead of watching on Saturday. He did say he watched the most football he's ever watched in his life Saturday. Um, but they're ready. Dabo challenged them, talked about how up front the NC State team did better than the Clemson team last year. Dexter said they've made that real clear to them the last two weeks. So I think the defensive line's got a little extra incentive going into this game to make sure that they proved that they're the more physical team up front. Also got to talk to Jordan Williams, who's got his chance to start contributing more again, been sidelined for a while with that injury. Uh, Dex actually joked about 
him and how he hadn't done a whole lot. And uh, Jordan actually gave Dex and Christian a lot of credit for helping his move inside and his development. So today was a defensive day as far as players go. These guys kind of summarized what we heard from Dabo. We got a ton of stuff headed your way all week long. Huge game. One of the things I thought was unusual about what Dabo says at every week is the biggest game because it's the game that week. Today he actually talked about how this was a big game in other regards. Dabo doesn't usually do that. He usually sticks to the script. Today he departed from that script. So big game. We got it all covered for you this week, all week long. Have a ton of stuff this weekend after the game. So stay tuned to TCI for the most complete coverage of Clemson football.